This video is sponsored by eToro. Open your account today by clicking the link in the description. When will we run out of oil? A question debated constantly since the turn of the millennia. Some say next year, some say the next 100 years, but most agree that it is a major problem to be tackled within our lifetimes. The question comes down to supply and demand. After how long will our thirst for oil drain the earth of all available resources? First, we look into demand. Last year, the world used 102 million barrels of oil per day. This has increased from 91 million 10 years ago. This trend is estimated to continue until around 2050, when the vast majority of the world's population will be living in developed nations with a level demand for oil. For example, the UK demand for oil hasn't risen at all since consumption records began in the 1960s. Using estimations on current global trends, we can assume that global demand will likely reach around 130 million barrels per day in 2050, and increase little thereafter, potentially even declining. So how much oil is there in the world? There are three layers to this question. How many barrels of oil do we currently have in storage? how much oil is located within our current drilling capacity, and how much oil is there left for us to explore and drill in the future. Most alarmist journalists will have you ignoring the third point or even the latter too when writing a headline that we're all going to die in 10 years. So how many barrels of oil does the world have in storage? There are approximately only 7.2 billion barrels of oil currently stored and waiting to be used in the world. Does this mean we're going to run out of oil in two months? Of course not, we have 25,000 oil fields drilling existing reserves every single day and adding to this storage as it is used. So, how much oil do we have in reserves? Deposits underground that we know about and can be accessed with our existing technology. There are around 1.73 trillion barrels of these reserves that we are aware of, and can verify. This is enough to last 40 to 50 years with current consumption patterns, so maybe we'll run out of oil within the next half century. Furthermore, the US DOI indicate that there is an estimated 565 billion barrels of undiscovered, modernly accessible oil in the world. This brings the total to 2.3 trillion barrels of declared oil available to drill with modern technology. Now for the final question. How much oil is left in the world to be discovered and drilled by future generations? Given the amazing advances in technology that we've seen over the past 50 years, is it far-fetched to assume that development in valuable oil extraction technologies would continue to advance at the current rate? 50 years ago, there were 626 billion barrels of oil reserves in the entire world. Since then, we have used over 1 trillion barrels. This shows that there is no logic in the often touted headline of running out of oil within 50 years. In years to come, we will continue to develop more powerful technology capable of finding more oil and drilling oil that is impossible to access by today's standards. Furthermore, if oil does become more scarce with accessible reserves declining, the price of crude oil rises and companies are incentivized to spend more and work harder to access new oil deposits. When oil is $20 a barrel, we can expect producers to sit on their hands as it costs more to lift the oil from the ground than they can sell it for. If oil exceeds all-time highs at $200 a barrel, we can expect exploration and technological development to skyrocket as it becomes economically viable to drill harder to access deposits. There is also a factor of uncooperative, unstable and underdeveloped nations and locations beginning to access unknown deposits. From war-torn impoverished locations that cannot be correctly examined, to locations such as the Arctic which have been avoided as per international agreements, there are vast quantities of oil that can be explored in the future.